Yep, good morning. So it is, it's a beautiful day right now and it's killing me to not be getting in the corn planter to go plant corn, but I'm not gonna do it. I can't do it with the forecast that we have. I've taken my risks and we're gonna be done. Phil is planting beans. We're gonna finish up planting out the seed that he's got and the um, particular fields that we had planned to do. Uh, but then I think we'll call it. So this morning, Dad and I are going to Berkey. We've got to get a truck down there so that um, we have transportation when we go down. And the plan is we've got two fields left to disc with the 9R there um, up here, about 40 acres a piece. And then we're going to take the disc to Berkey. So we'll have a vehicle down there to get back. And um, we can get the disc and done down there or what we can before it starts raining here. So, he's taking the red truck down, I'm taking my truck, we're going to check the fields and uh, pick him up. And we got the boys, can we say good morning? Daddy. Say good morning. Daddy. Brace in. Daddy. Ah. Well, we made it to Berkey. We're going to leave the red truck down here. Dad and the boys are in the barn getting a hoe. We're going to go out and check the fields here. Uh, this one is all ready to plant. It probably would plant, but we're not We're not going to do it now. So it really doesn't even matter what this looks like. Um, but I am curious what the corn stalks look like because we might come down here and disc this afternoon. Well, on the surface it looks dry enough. I couldn't find a uh, shovel, so we got a hoe. The top two or three inches here are good. So we can bring the disc down and hit these stalks. All right, we made it back from Berkey. Those dudes are uh, playing with my straps, that's fine. So uh, Brock got here, I had him diagnosing my seed tender motor issues and scale issues. And um, well, we determined that this switch is bad. So that's probably an easy fix because the motor runs when you put power directly to it. Um, but if you go on the other side of the switch and flip the switch on and off, it doesn't work. So yeah, we're gonna put a new switch on and that should take care of that issue. All right, well, we got that switch changed out and I uh, got that uh, talc applicator fixed. We spent a little bit of time diagnosing scale problems. It seems we have a bad load cell and I just replaced that load cell um, but Brock actually called the company that the tender makes the tenders and they said that the scale is bad Of course, they also said the motor was bad on the talc applicator and it wasn't the motor It was just a switch. So I don't know if I trust them but point being um, I think I got to get a new load cell so I'm gonna get one ordered Hopefully that'll fix it because I'm tired of that scale not working So now we're gonna take this disc over to the next field and uh, get Brock started running it. He uh, obviously has run the disc before, but he has not run this big tractor, the 9R, at all. And so I just want to uh, get it there on the road for him and then um, get him started because it's just, it's different. This tractor is not lacking for power on the disc. I see that? 9.4. So I think Brock got the hang of driving the tractor. So I brought him over to the next field because you see that spot right up in front of us? That's where he's gonna get stuck today. So I thought I'd point it out to him for all of those of you that say I don't tell him where all the wet spots are. So when we're back here in a couple hours, it's because Brock will have gotten the tractor stuck there. Right, Brock? No, I'm not gonna go there and get the tractor stuck. <laughs> Or at least gonna work in from the edge and not go right through the middle and start Don't there. Don't skip rows with the flat. <laughs> it actually doesn't look too bad. It might not be terrible right now, but just kind of stay on the edges of it and see how it goes. That is a big tractor to just stick somebody in and turn them loose, but I think he's got it. it the turning is different. It's gonna take him a minute to get used to that, but uh, he'll be fine. Hopefully our disc holds together. I haven't had any bearing issues yet this spring, which means we're gonna have some bearing issues pretty soon probably. But this field and the one we were just in are the only two that we have left to disc here. Uh, then we need to go to Berkey, which is why we went down to look today. So the idea is to get these two done and then maybe this afternoon head to Berkey with this. Um, 
Now there's a pretty good chance that it's going to rain and or snow over the next couple of days. So uh, we'll probably get down there, maybe do a little bit and then get rained out and have to wait for things to dry out. But since we are so far ahead with the tillage work here, uh, since we did all that stuff in March, it would be okay if we got rained out with the tractor stuck down there. It's not the end of the world. We'll, we'll be able to wait for it to dry and get it done. We've only got, I think, uh, three or four more fields that really even need field cultivated up here. Um, so we can plant for a long time before we have to do any more tillage work, which is a good thing. That's It's nice to have that out of the way. Well, I don't know if it's good or bad, but our empty box collection is growing here. Um, yeah. Phil had them too empty that I had put on yesterday, so I was just empty in the tender. I think I'm just gonna park it right there and leave it. I, I don't know that he's gonna need any more beans today. Um, he might, he might not. We'll see. If we do, it'll be these 2505s here. So we'll see what he wants to do when uh, he runs out. All right, I just got done with lunch and uh, the boys are in the house, hopefully taking a nap. Um, Phil called me, he has just run out of seed and he has about, I don't know what's there, 11 acres in this one little field that he has to plant yet. So we're gonna load up a box of them 2505s and take them down to him so he can finish that up. But that's all we're gonna do today. We aren't gonna go anymore. So again, right or wrong, I don't know, but that's what we're doing. All right, that one's loaded up. This one is, uh, like I said, 2505-25 bean, Cruiser Max Saltro. So Phil just finished that field in the back there behind this ditch that I'm trying not to drive into. He's got just a little front field here to do. There's about 11 acres, so we'll let him get after that. And uh, then we're gonna call it for the day. Well, looks like Brock got done and made it back. I'm gonna pick him up. We gotta go down to my seed warehouse because I got a truck to unload and we got boxes to fold. Hey Brock. Yep. How am I supposed to get lots of YouTube views if you don't get stuck after I told you where not to get stuck? You know, if you'd have told me the first time, uh -huh. I wouldn't have got stuck. Listen to him. Listen to him. Oh well. Maybe next time. No. All right, so I'm gonna get him to back up to the concrete so I can get him unloaded. He didn't want to because it's uphill, which I understand, but all these boxes are empties and we need to fold them down and get them ready to ship back and get them basically out of my way. So Brock's gonna get lids off. I'll, we'll, I'll, we'll, we'll do that after um, I get this guy unloaded. There goes Phil. That means he's done planting. That is good. Whoa. Those uh, empty box stacks get tall. All right, so now we're doing a little bit of shuffling and just organizing everything, trying to get all of my beans on that side, the stuff for our farm, everybody else's stuff over here, empty boxes. Another customers are all gonna go in that corner, which is where those six boxes go, and we're still waiting on another six or seven for that customer that might be coming in another truck here in an hour or so, but we'll see. All right, Brock is moving the last two boxes there. And these guys woke up from their nap, got their gator in there. Foster truck out, and he's picking up all my zip ties that were on the floor. Well, perhaps we shouldn't have spent all that time moving boxes around because now our forklift is dead and we got our second truck here. So hopefully a 10 minute charge is gonna be enough to um, get this truck unloaded. Not entirely sure it will be, but that's what we're gonna do what we gotta do, I guess. I'll go get the one from the farm if I have to. That's it. I so I, th I think we can handle it. Rylan, haul that for me. There we go. <laughs> now, I have been on our shipping department hard about not getting my beans because it's the 19th of April and people are trying to plant them. But do you know how expensive it is to send eight semi truck with one bag of seed on it one bag like usually they ship those fedex or ups or something and i get that's expensive too but so what like it's better than this unbelievable oh i got my bag all right i know all right so we need to get some equipment put inside before it gets cold and rainy and snowy here so 
We're going to move the bean planter. Phil parked it in the shop. But we're going to move that and put it in the gray shed in the back here. We're going to take the corn planter and the tank and just pull it around and pull right through the center of the shop, kind of like I was going to do yesterday, but there was stuff in the way. So we got to just move stuff around a little bit. That's a chain. I will open it, he says. Got it. All right, let's pull this one out and back it in the back. Ooh, we should export the data off of that display while we've got this tractor running. All right, that one's out of here. Now we got to open the front door and bring the planter in. This thing is long, super long. So we're gonna pull in here as far as we can. I think they'll get most of the corn planter in the bag. I don't know. The boys are working on securing their bucket so it doesn't uh, roll out of the back of the gator. I am cleaning up the rest of the mess that they made. All of these hook uh, straps were laying on the floor in the back of the shop. All right, while I was moving the 8430, I downloaded or I exported the data off the display. So I got that in the computer uploading to my John Deere. So I'll have all my planning records updated. Uh, and then Phil was telling me he was having a little bit of trouble with um, something on his planner. And I need some help here, guys. So uh, it's identical on the corn planner. I'm going to show you what we're looking for. You guys tell me what this thing is called because I have no idea. All right, so in the bottom of the CCS tanks here, there is a shaft, this one, that runs through there and it's got little pegs on it and it rotates back and forth, or oscillates, to help agitate the seed. It's called an agitator and it uh, keeps the seed flowing so that it will flow through these tubes. Well, the drive side over here, there is this motor. I think it's a windshield wiper motor. It's got a um, uh, gearbox there to reduce the speed of it and then it spins and it's got this linkage, this armature here with these caps. And I believe they're plastic. Oh, well, maybe not. Those might be metal, actually. Um, but they're like a ball socket joint there. And they move this arm so that it, it oscillates back and forth instead of spinning in a circle, right? Well, on Phil's planner, he keeps having this one pop off. They're like, it's like they're worn. So we looked up the part from John Deere. Well, you can't buy just that part. You got to buy the whole motor and the linkage and everything. And we would like to avoid that. So does anybody know what to call these or where I could find them and um, how I can get replacements without having to spend $260 or something like that on the whole motor assembly? So he said it just pops off and he can get it back on and it stays for a while, but it's just getting worn. So um, any, any ideas? Ah, it's starting to rain out here and it's definitely cooled down like, 20 degrees since this morning or earlier uh anyway we're going home um we'll see what's going on tomorrow i got the boys again or maybe grandma has the boys it's going to be cold we'll watch it snow together maybe um no i'm planning on treating beans if that truck tomorrow has a bunch more beans on it that need to get treated so thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow questions comments like and subscribe thanks